We are joined now by Jenny Miller, who is the Executive Director of the Global Climate and Health Alliance. It's so nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Let's talk about climate change. It's a hot topic right now. Can you share with us how it's impacting health, what we know? Well, so we know that climate change is impacting the health of everybody. Um, we're already seeing it. We're seeing heat waves. We're seeing um, extreme storm and, and weather events, um, drought. Um, Vector-borne diseases are increasing and moving in new places. Um, and it, it really is affecting everybody's health, but we also know that it affects some people's health more than others. And there are some groups that are particularly vulnerable. So um, children, the elderly, um, people who are already experiencing illnesses that are people with disabilities are gonna be more vulnerable to the impacts of, of climate change and their health is gonna suffer. Let's talk about children uh, to start with. What are some key actions that perhaps schools or communities could take now to help protect children? So the most important thing anybody can do is to support policies that quickly transition us away from fossil fuels. That's, that's number one. Support those policies, support the decision makers that are going to implement those policies. Protecting children, you know, um, air quality alert systems so that Parents and schools can decide when and how to reduce their exposure. Um, heat action plans so that people know what to do when a heat wave comes along. Those sorts of things are really important to kind of um, protect children when we're feeling the effects of climate change. And how can we work across sectors to help protect folks from climate change, specifically with our health? Yeah, so I'm really glad you asked that question. Um, climate change is a cross-sectoral issue. Um, in public health, we have a really important role to play, but we can't do it alone. Um, we need the energy sector to transition away from fossil fuels and to clean energy. We need to be working with our city planning departments and our transportation departments so that we have walkable cities and bikeable cities. Um, and you know, across the board in food and agriculture, there are important things that that sector needs to do as well. Um, the thing I would emphasize though is we really need health at the table in all of those conversations because different decisions get made if the health lens is not being brought to the issue. So. And what would you say finally, which type of investments, whether that be economic or other resources, can be made to better address climate change? Yeah, um, you know, we've really got to put a price on carbon. Um, we've got to make, so right now, the health impacts of climate change are treated as externalities. Things are affecting people, um, but the, the price is not borne by the energy sector, the transportation sector, et cetera, the, the fuel, fuel extraction industries. So putting a price on carbon would ensure that those impacts that we're seeing on health are really built in and there's an economic incentive to um, move us in the right direction. Great to talk with you. Thank you for your time, Jenny. Thank you so much.